Night Fellowship Day 150. And unlike day 149, this is genuinely on day 150, doing two recordings in one day, just to shed all of that guilt and hypocrisy of saying that I would be here every day and struggling sometimes to do it. But anyway, here we go. On day 150, it's a Friday, thinking about tying off some work for this week, but uh, the theme of what I wanted to share today is that um, well, one of our students in our research team has recently finished uh, their master's project. They're coming in today, um, and this sort of links to day 149. They're coming in today to help record a short video to summarize their project. And we're doing that as part of efforts to not be... Uh, I'm too worried about stepping on eggshells here, but to be frank, we just don't want to be overly traditional in our approach to academic research. We're going to be putting together a paper on that work, excited about doing that, but we don't want it to be the final chapter in the story. Um, you're losing a lot of audience by focusing entirely on papers and by making a video. It's hopefully bringing in more of an audience or for those who want to look at the research but don't have time to read a full paper or frankly don't have the inclination to read, they would rather watch uh, and learn a little bit um, that, that would suffice more than looking at the granular details of the full story. But anyway, that student's coming in to make this video and I'm excited to do that because it, it gets to something a little bit deeper that I've really tried hard to cultivate in the past few years. And I'm saying this because in the past, I've been terrible at it. It being, I really want to put this student and everyone in our team absolutely front and center when they deserve to be there. Um, the person coming in today has made a really profound link between one of the main parts of what our research team is all about and a completely new area of application that really hadn't been on the cards, hadn't been a consideration, was not in any way prescribed to be part of the plan of this research fellowship. But the long story short, it's taken the main thrust of what we are doing and helping us explore applications in forensics and policing, which is really cool. Um, and it's a departure from the main body of work that we do in the pharmaceutical sector. Um, but there's there's plenty of other avenues to actually share what that research is. Like that the whole point of this recording is to, and this whole series actually is to share all the bits and pieces around the fellowship, all the things that at least I'm thinking of, and and perhaps others in this line of work are thinking of as they as they try to keep moving forward. Um, but putting students front and center is the thing I wanted to get at thematically here, because. You know, there's so much hard work in building a career like this if you're fortunate enough to have fallen out in a bit of the world that gives you a shot at doing it, that, you know, there's always the temptation with your own ego to put yourself front and center. That I did this, I did that. Look at my intellectual property, my ideas being turned into reality. And um, dropping a B-bomb here, but most of the time that's complete and utter bullshit. There's so much richness in what comes out of watching other people's ideas grow. And even if that's been seeded from something that you've done in the past, fine, but there's a joy in that. And there's a lot of times where that story might go completely unheard. So like this person who'd made a... a a beautiful link between one bit of existing work in an area where it might be applied. You know, we're making that video so that they can be the one to sit and talk about it, to tell the story, to share how the link was made, to talk a little bit about the nuts and bolts of how they actually did it. It would have been so easy, and I have done this in the past, for it just to be me standing in front of the camera and to summarize that sort of like I'm doing 
here, but there's so much more to be gained in letting the students or, you know, the lead researchers um, take the reins on that. And they get so much out of it as well. You know, linking to day 149 and talking about getting over the embarrassment hurdle of content creation. These uh, content is only part of the word. What you're doing is creating assets. And it's not just an asset for you and for reporting research. It's an asset and a gift in a way for those who you're putting in that spotlight. That will be with them long after they've left your care long after they've re left your team, as they start to grow as leaders themselves, as they start to cultivate their own CV and and go out there into the big bad world and make a mark for this, themselves and they them leading others. So being able to put that stamp out there in the digital world and for them to be able to say, yes, I've done this research. Yes, I've got this paper. But here's a link to something else I've done in addition, above and beyond what you might expect. You know, and so you're helping those who have helped you to set themselves apart for the career that they're paving for themselves. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's it's just a, a really rewarding exercise um, to practice more giving than taking. Um, you know, it doesn't take a genius to look at my website and see that there's parts of it where I have no problem brandishing my own name everywhere. Um, you know, I think if you're going to give everything a go, you need to balance one side of your ego with the humility on the other. But doing things like today's video recording is a way to bring that balance um, uh, and not to swagger into the spotlight yourself at all times. I think that's a good point to consider is where where are all the opportunities where you could help the people in your care create the assets that show all of their contribution and create those assets that will last as gifts to their career for the longer term. That sounds like a nice way to finish it for today. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. If you like what you're hearing on the podcast, head over to the website where not only will you find the written blog versions of these podcasts, you'll find my leadership blog series, the daily thought series, and information about my book on managing the imposter phenomenon. We also have even more free resources and webinars linked to the YouTube channel. So head on over to Dr dash mark dash read dot com that's dr dash mark with a c dash r e i d dot com